channel is Max from the Malcolm Max. Remember, Max Creation TV is giving you all the updates around Qatar and it's giving you all the updates that are going to help you to move on in one way or the other. We are now looking at what we call the Expo. Most of you will agree with me. The hit now is the Expo 2024 in Qatar, Doha, that will be starting uh, in October. Right now, we've been waiting for what we call the volunteer registration for the Expo 2024. And most of you have been asking about the jobs, for the volunteering, about the volunteering opportunities for the Expo Doha 2023. Remember, this is an event that's going to take more than what we call six months, which is gravely more than even the World Cup that was here for one month in a few days or in the few months that we had. Expo Doha 2023 is what on its people's mind right now. The volunteering process or the volunteering registration is now open for the Expo Doha 2023. Anyone can be a volunteer. You can be a volunteer. I can be the volunteer. Remember, volunteering itself, it's not all about getting the money, but it's all about getting the accreditation. It's all about getting the connection. It's all about getting the friendship. It's all about building the skills that we must have every single day to help us move in MFC. We meet new friends, we meet new people, we get to engage with even those people that we think of not meeting in one day or in one day of our life. Because it's a gathering of very many groups of people from different countries and all over the countries and from different areas of the world. Remember, for you to be part of what you call the volunteering or what you call the volunteers of the Expo Doha 2023. You just need to go to the link of what you call the Doha Expo 2023 at gov.qa. Then it will give you all the details on how you can apply, on what your benefits, on what you are supposed to be entitled, what is the selection process, and what will be the procedure. Remember, one of the requirements for you, you must be living in Qatar. It's far different from what we had with the World Cup now. You must be living in Qatar or you must be residing in Qatar. Remember, you cannot reside in the country without what you call a valid QID. So definitely, your QID must be valid by the time the expo or within what you call the selection process. What is all about the selection process? Yes, before we look at the, what you call the selection process, you must be 18 years and above by September 1st. And the volunteering hours are going to be between seven to eight days in a month. Remember, we are looking at an horticulture event that is going to run for more than six months. So meaning that you'll be entitled to particular days or days limit for you to volunteer. And this volunteering is you are going to be working in different areas. It may be security, it may be protocol, it may be other services. As are all, I'm going to list them down for you. Such that you definitely know, if I'm to volunteer, where do I think I have the skill, the possession of the skill that I can give out the best of myself? When we go to some of these events where we go, it's all about giving the best of yourself and learning new things, meeting new people. Always the connection that you have would always look at what you call the strong characters. Those people with the special or what you call the strong personality. You never know who knows. Tomorrow, you may be part of that team that will be. You may be called by someone you don't know and it will just give you a very big opportunity for you to move. Remember, when we are looking at the application process itself, we shall start from what you call the application. When you drop in your application, when you are called for the interview, when you call for the interview, they will interview depending on what kind of role that you've applied for. For example, if you say I'm going to be in the accreditation department, accreditation department is that it's dealing in the welfare of the volunteers, uh, giving cards, make up other activities. If you are going to be in the ceremonies, on the part of the ceremonies, if you are going to, if you wish to work in what you call the ticketing centers, if you wish to work in what you call the media broadcasters. If you wish to work as a protocol services or what you call participants, then definitely it's also under process that after your application, 
just listing down or mentioning the road or the departments or the area that you feel that you have the greatest strength or you have the greatest skills to enable you more then definitely the selection process will come remember you do application there will be an interviewing they'll call you for the interview there will be that date then there will be what you call confirmation you'll be confirmed that you are selected you'll be confirmed that you are a part of the group which is hashtag green team which is the main thing what you call the volunteering or what you call the expo 2023 Doha. Then they will give you what you call the role. The role that you'll be playing or where exactly that you'll be working or which part of area you'll be working. Then after that, they will give you what you call training. What is so happy or what is so good here in Qatar or most of these Gulf countries is that they give you all these skills and the training you get through all this. And when you get through all this, it's going to help you. It's going to enable you. Get something. Enable you. Acquire some of these beneficial things in one way or another. Which will enable you to live and go extra and extra miles in everyday life. Or you get up to pick up skills that will enable you to move further. So after training, they will go what you call accreditation. Or what you call uniform. You'll be confirmed. They will give you uniform. They will give you everything. And they will give you age and everything that you'll use. I talk this with what you call family and we call what you call proof. For people who act as volunteers in the World Cup, you'll agree with me. The steps that you took, it will be the same steps that you take. And it will be the same, even more than the items that you got for World Cup will be better in this place. For people who act with volunteers at the World Cup, you'll definitely agree with me. Saying, let us try to look at what are those functional areas. Okay, if I want to be a volunteer, if I wish to be a volunteer and I'm staying in Qatar, I have part of the time that I can give out to volunteer, what do I need? Or where, or which kind of particular areas that are eligible or where I can apply? There are a lot of areas where you can apply. You can apply as a function, as an accreditation. You work in the accreditation areas, or what you call the stores or what you call the accreditation offices. Then you can also apply as in working the ceremony areas uh, where the ceremony, there are those departments that definitely will be dealing with what you call that. Then you look at what you call healthy and safety. It's also another area, part of the department that is under what you call the Expo 23. You can apply whenever though, you get a role under that department and you definitely get to work. We look at ticketing, events and safety. Uh, the cultural experiences, the safety, uh, what you call uh, the ticketing areas where you need to give out tickets, you need to give out. That is also another skill that you definitely get to share or you get to enjoy or you get to get in one single day, in one day. And it's going to help you. It may not help you right now, but it's going to help you after because you're definitely showing that you know you've acquired something just not with you also, but even the capability of the brain, it helps you to move out and do a lot of things with other people in one way or the other. Then we look at people who have what you call the media skills, the broadcasters, people who have worked in the media. I know most of you come to our countries or come from our countries. We have those skills, parallel of those skills. We have diplomas, we have degrees. This is a time to showcase yourself. It's a time to showcase your skills that you may not look at the money itself coming your way, but what is added on to you. It's the paper. It's the proof, it's the school, a skill and meeting new advantages of the people around you that will enable further or improve or even make your connections 100% or greater than you hide than all where you were before. Then we'll, you also look at what we call protocol services for areas where people who wish to work in protocol services. Uh, protocol services, we look at people who wish to work as security guards, uh, partial, uh, um, uh, what you call bodyguards or uh, uh, personal safeties. So all those areas are part of that. Then you also look at workforce. If you want to be part of the workforce of the uh, Expo 2022, then definitely it's also good.
going to be part of those areas. Then we also look at also another is also learning more and more of those things that every single day we get to participate and uh, we do a lot of things. Remember, uh, uh, we get more and uh, something that I need to remind you every day is that you don't wait for the opportunities to look for you, but definitely you by yourself, you start up looking up the opportunities. You never know what you're opening up the door. Don't close the door always. That always leave the door open by you trying out the opportunities. By the time that right opportunity comes, it will definitely have to find your door open in one way or the other. And you'll be the first person to grab that chance in one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Hope I've tried to share with you. So if you want to be a volunteer or if you are planning to be a volunteer in Expo uh, 2023 Qatar Doha and you are living in Qatar or you are currently living in Qatar or you'll be by by the date of September 1st, you'll be 18 years, then you'll be eligible to apply and work. Remember, the Expo, we are looking at over uh, 13 million visitors or over 3 million uh, visitors that will be coming to the country to showcase what we call the Octarcher uh, uh, exhibition that will show a, a lot of things that have improvement or what are the accessibility to have in one or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to support this channel. Share, tell a friend about it and let us reach the information because it's the only way that we are going to improve ourselves and we are going to live every single day in life. Thank you so much. See you again. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation TV. Max at the TikTok account. Max somewhere at, uh, at 20 at the Instagram. Then also we look at endless inspirations that is at Max or at Malcolm Max in race inspiration. Thank you so much, always uh, tuning or turning around once in a while or two minutes. Watch one of my videos for two minutes. I'll be very grateful. Thank you so much. See you again in the next updates. I'll always be leaving. Thank you so much. See you again.